Hey, welcome to Big, and if you use a Samsung device like I do, and you have a lot of videos and pictures, but struggle to find ways to back them up, I'm going to show you a really quick and simple way of doing it without having to use a desktop or a laptop. I'm a very mobile person, and for me, the convenience of just being able to do this is fantastic. I really don't like pulling out an old laptop, having to go through the software updates and pull out the power brick, and then sit behind a desk. Being a very mobile person, I can do this anywhere. It's quick, it's easy, it is secure. I'm not a big fan of having to use cloud services and the memory amount that you can get here is really, really cheap compared to some other options. So if you haven't thought about it, this is an external hard drive. You can get these from Amazon, from anywhere. I'm not sponsored, but this particular one is a one terabyte that I got off of Amazon. It works great. And this is pertaining to a Samsung device, especially some of their newer devices don't have expandable memory. This is really super helpful for me. Now, what you do need for this to work, uh, especially for the Samsung that I'm using, which is going to be an S22 Ultra. I also have an A52 model, and I'm here in the screen. I'm showing you an old S7 or S8, but you need a cable that's a Type-C on one end and a USB on the other end. And what you simply do is you just plug it in, and once you plug this thing in, it will automatically recognize the hard drive. So I'm going to plug it in here real quick. And you can now see the light has turned on. It's firing up. This is not a solid state drive. This is a the, the traditional one that spins. So when I bring it in close, you can see the lights on and it's vibrating a little bit on the table. Uh, the reason why I like this, uh, because I can get a lot of memory for a lot less money. So now I'm going to switch to the screen on my phone to show you how easy it is to transfer pictures, videos, anything you want content from your phone to this to the secure backup storage. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment on anything else you'd like to see, and I hope this video is helpful for you. Now sharing my screen and what it will look like, I use a Samsung device. Again, if you use a different type of device, the uh, the way you would do this may be different, but in my case, I'm going to go to my Samsung files and when I select my files, it'll bring me up to this menu system where I can navigate my internal storage, my SD card, my USB storage. You should notice my USB storage, which is the hard drive, is nearly one terabyte. I've already transferred 62 gigabytes of information to it. So now I'm going to show you how exactly I transfer a video. The first thing I would do is to go into the actual USB storage, which is this external hard drive here. I can actually create a new folder, which I'm going to do here. I'm going to select the create folder. I'm going to label this folder uh, new videos just for this example. So now I have this new folder. I'm going to go back. And let's say I want to actually transfer a video now. I'm going to pick my recent video. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's pick a couple recent videos. So here's three of these videos that we just did. I'm going to select the option copy. And now it gives me uh, this option, this, this bar at the bottom, like this orange color where it says cancel copy here. So what it's asking me to do is to go back, go down to my storage drive, go into my new videos folder, and select the copy here option. There, it's done. Just like that, it transferred all those three videos right into my external hard drive. I copied them so the originals are still on my phone. If I don't want to copy them, I can delete them afterwards or I can just move them and not copy at all. So anyways, that's how quick and simple and easy I was able just to move videos and you can do this with pictures or anything you want and this is how you do it from the Samsung Android device so I do encourage you pick up an external hard drive like the one you saw here very helpful you don't have to buy a very high capacity phone and you don't have to worry about memory cards if you don't want to deal with them this I do this occasionally and it frees up a lot of space so again I hope this video was helpful thanks for watching